My previous video was about frame locks. Today I'm going to show you my top 10 favorite liner locks. I picked out what I consider to be some of the best. So we got a lot to look at, so let's do this. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Jay. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. Consider clicking on that subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. I'll be sure to go ahead and put links down in the description below to either Amazon or White Mountain Knives to all of the knives that I show you here today, just in case you see something you like. Coming in at number 10, this is going to be a knife that I am sure most of you are going to immediately recognize. From Zero Tolerance, it's the ZT0350. I had to include it on this list because I honestly, I consider this, not only is this a true hard use folder, but it, it's a modern day classic. Whether you like this knife or not, you have to admit that much. Oh, and better yet, it's made right here in the good old US of A. You do get the uh, multiple uh, deployment options. You can either use the flipper tab or you see those uh, blade stops. Yeah, you can also use them just like thumb studs. Uh, four position pocket clip. Who doesn't like that? One, two, three, four. What don't I like? Well, there's just a couple things. The first one, and I'm sure this is a very uh, common gripe, the weight. Yeah, this thing is a hog. I mean, you're looking at about 6.3 ounces or roughly 178 grams. So yeah, it's a little bit on the heavy side. Now, I did mention the, uh, the pocket clip, how I love that you can uh, position it in one of four different uh, ways, but I'm just not a fan of this uh, like kind of, it's a generic clip. I mean, let's face it. And if you're carrying the knife tip up, it does uh, leave just a, well, quite a bit of handle sticking out of the pocket. At the nine spot, I have the uh, Max Ace Balance. And I'll bet that you're probably thinking this knife looks really familiar. It looks like another one. You'd be right. The Honey Badger, you can certainly see like the design influence that the balance had on the Honey Badger. There's a few features that I really like about this, and I'm gonna start out with that, just that gorgeous, look at that drop point. If that is not the prettiest drop point you have ever seen. Okay, maybe it's not, but it is, it is damn handsome. Uh, S35VN is gonna be the uh, blade steel. You get multiple deployment options, so you can either use the flipper tab or Yep, you can use the uh, the thumb hole. Action in both directions, as you saw, is absolutely amazing. Watch this. Boop. I love that. Two things I don't like. Uh, first being, you know, I get that the, the balance, it's not a flashy knife to begin with, but it honestly, it feels like it should cost a heck of a lot less than than it does. And part of the reason for that is going to be, now, if you were to buy one of these brand new, the uh, G10 scales, they come with, the best way I can describe it is like a ripple-like texture. And I, I hated it. I, I didn't care for it. So I had to go ahead and uh, sand both of the scales uh, down smooth just to get it where I like it. Here's another one that's uh, instantly recognizable. Number eight is going to be the uh, blur from... Kershaw, and just like the ZT0350, this one is made right here in the United States. Now, I know that there's there's many of you that you just don't like SpeedSafe, and hey, I get it. But I have to tell you, this is such a fun knife to fidget. I mean, SpeedSafe and all, it's still a good time. These uh, nested liners, I like that a lot, especially here because it uh, helps to keep that handle thickness down to just 0.47 inches. And really, I only have one issue with the uh, the blur, and that all just, it centers around the pocket clip. And no, this is not the, the clip that, uh, that it comes with. This is an aftermarket one because the, the stock clip, when it's in the tip-up configuration, it just rides just super shallow in the uh, in the pocket on top of that if you look at the screw holes you can see how they're kind of canted like that yeah that's kind of an uncommon um, like configuration and it's just it's not compatible with other 
with most clips from other manufacturers. So pretty much if you want to swap out this uh, pocket clip, which I'm going to say probably about 95% of you will, you end up, you have to buy uh, an aftermarket one. And this one came from MXG Gear. I'll put the link to it uh, down below. For number seven, I've got the Southern Grind uh, Spider Monkey. And in case you're wondering, I want to get this out of the way right now. Yes, this is not the clip that comes on this knife. As you can see, it's a CRKT one because here's the clip that this that comes stock on here. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute, but very, very uh, unique design. I mean, like, honestly, this looks unlike any other knife uh, that I have in my collection. Great materials, S35VN blade, and then look at those. Yeah, that's contoured carbon fiber scales. Just, man, they are so well done. Uh, very comfortable handle. I mean, even though it does look a little odd, take my word for it, it is, it's super comfortable. You get a really nice, look at that nice uh, thumb ramp up there in the top. The jimping even feels really good. What don't I like? Well, this, the spider monkey here, it certainly is not known for it's not known for its action and you can see yeah i sometimes have to use even a little bit of a little bit of wrist because on the inside we've just got uh, there's bronze washers so this is this is not at all this is not at all going to be a fidget knife it, it it will not it will not drop close so you need to know that you know going in if you're interested uh the the pocket clip that's another uh, that's another big issue um, for me, and I started to show you the clip that it comes with, but I'm going to show it on the flip side. But I I do like I like how the clip is short, but it just it has it has no give. Number six, we got the giant mouse. This is the Ace uh, Biblio, and. I gotta be honest, I wasn't sure about this knife. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be on the list, but well, you know what, I'm get ahead, getting ahead of myself. So what do I like? The blade steel, M390 you're looking at, micarta, nice, really nice contoured micarta scales that do change color quickly. I thought maybe it was just me because I'm, you know, greasy like a teenager, but no, they do change. <laughs> they change color uh, pretty quick. Of course, you get the multiple deployment options, either the uh, the flipper tab or you can go ahead and use, yep, the thumb hole. They really, I like that they really paid attention to the size of this, uh, the flipper tab. So yeah, most of that edge is gonna go ahead and make contact on a flat surface. I, I love this blade shape, I absolutely do. They did show us lefties. Boom, yep, some love. Look at that, nice, really nice wire clip that is switchable. What don't I like? Well, this is the reason why it almost did not make the list because, well, the action, it's really, really, it's not that good. And sometimes, I mean, it's super easy to fail it. I mean, but the detent is strong enough. I mean, there's no way you're gonna shake that little blade loose but even with the ball bearing pivot it just does not fly open and it does not really doesn't really drop close i mean you can see you can you can get it after a couple of shakes but to be fair the action has been getting better but man has this break-in period been like super long the the rat won and you know what you could even if you want if you don't like the size we could even put the rat two at this uh, number five spot, but I like, I prefer the uh, the one just a little bit more. I mean, I'm not gonna say much about this because everything has already been said. So it's a, a good blade, good steel at a good price. How about that? Only one problem that I have uh, with this knife, but it's pretty much, it's old news. It's the pocket clip. I mean, it is, you can put it in one of four different positions, but when it's going to be tip up, you're looking at a really, that's a pretty shallow carry. Number four, I kind of want to do uh, like dealer's choice because honestly, you could put, you could put either the steel wheel, the cut jack or the modus in this spot. They are, they're not all that dissimilar. Uh, but out of these two 
full-size uh, M390 versions. Of course, I prefer the one that's uh, discontinued and least popular, the, the Modus. I like this one slightly more. And to clarify now, the, the Modus that was discontinued was the M390, not the, the D2. You can, still, you can still get those either in the full size or the, uh, the Mini. So what do I like? Well, I love, I love this uh, sheep's foot blade. I mean, you're getting, you're getting almost about the same amount of like usable cutting edge as the cut jack, but check that out. It's in a much smaller package. The action is is great in both directions. I mean, this thing snaps open and then I can get it a couple quick shakes and she drops closed. One thing I don't like about the, the Modus, the pocket clip. I have just, yeah, never been a fan of this one either. I mean, there's, there is just, there's like no spring, no give to this, to this clip. So a lot of times it takes me two hands, you know, to get this in my pocket. And you know, that's, that's irritating. And if you're thinking, Jay, well, just go ahead then. Uh, why don't you, why don't you switch out the pocket clip, tough guy? Well, it, this is another one. <laughs> this is another one that has uh, kind of a, an uncommon, screw hole pattern. Number three, the Praxis from Civivi. This, and I know I've probably said it before, this is my, this is my favorite uh, Civivi blade shape. So out of all of them, I just, yeah, I love this. I love this blade. It's, I mean, it, this is a larger knife, okay? But it, to me, it just, it doesn't carry like one, if that makes sense. The, now the version in the 9CR 18 MOV, $42. What's that? About 36 euro? I mean, that is like, that's an incredible price for, for we type of uh, quality. I felt that I needed to buy this version to, to truly get the Praxis that I wanted. Because it was either get this one with the black liners, black handle, black uh, yeah, black hardware. Uh, it was either this one or I had to deal with, you know, the standard version uh, with the gold liners. Number two. Okay, I can think of immediately a bunch of you that are going to be like really excited to uh, to see this knife here. And it is, of course, the, the Wii Streak. I keep wanting to call this thing the steak, you know, like as in sirloin. It was either going to be the, the Practic or of course the streak. Uh, I mean, because there's so many things that I just absolutely love about the Practic. But, well, here's why I went with the streak. The nested liners to start with, they're not blue. Now, even though I love the Practic's blade shape, I mean, look at that gorgeous drop point. I like this far more than the streak, but if you look at the two now, the streak has more usable sharpened edge, and not to mention it, the the forward finger choil is also like slightly bigger. The action in both directions, I mean, right out of the box, just phenomenal. The practic, I had to do a lot of work on this thing, and it's still. I mean, and it's still not, yeah, look at that. Easy to fail, not so with the streak. My only dislike, now this is like super minor, but it's gonna be the, yep, not a fan of the blue hardware. Before I show you my number one favorite liner lock, I would just, I would love to know what, uh, what knife or knives did you carry today? Or are you planning on carrying? Put it down in the comment section below. All right, guys, here it is, this is going to be the Blade HQ exclusive, the Kaiser Gemini in the shred carbon fiber handle. You could even put the Vanguard one here uh, because that one's good too. That's, you know, and, and it's of course a liner lock. Now, I know, I know that's, you know, some of you are not going to agree and that's okay, but I honestly think that this, I think that this is the best version of the, of the Gemini. Yeah, I like it a little bit more over the, uh, 
the titanium because these scales, I mean, they are just, yeah, they're super slick. And because I don't consider, uh, you know, any knife to be absolutely perfect, I have uh, just two issues with the Gemini. Uh, the first one being the lack of sharpening choil. And if you notice, you see that little notch in there? Yeah, I went ahead and I put that, I put that myself. The pocket clip. Now you know that this pocket clip is not, this is not the pocket clip that comes on here. It's actually, it's the same one as on the titanium. And it, it just kind of a shallow carry for my liking. And mm -mm, no lefty love. And that I really just, I don't understand because it's not like the clip is curved. I mean, it would be nothing to put the holes over on the other side. Don't forget links to buy will be down in the uh, description. So, okay, I've shown you mine. Let's see yours. Let me know what does your top 10 list of, uh, of your favorite liner locks, what does that list look like? If you don't have 10, put five, put however many you, you friggin' can, but just, just put them down in the comment section below. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you got, I mean, like any value from it, let me know by just leaving one of these. And hey, don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video. You guys take care. See you later.